So look, today's video topic is they are mad because you are not giving up, all right? Very important video. So listen, if you are chosen like me, right? Your enemies are upset at you, right? So your enemies are mad and they are getting frustrated because you simply just are not giving up. You feel me? You are not going out like that. You are not going out without a fight. So this is very interesting during these times because your enemies are pissed off that you still have the strength to continue to keep going after everything you've been through in this life. They just don't know where the strength is coming from. And it's scaring them. And it's making them highly upset with you, highly upset with themselves, because they hate to see you rise. So, your enemies, they are mad because you aren't giving up. You keep going, you keep fighting, right? And me and you are putting up a good fucking fight. I'm not gonna lie to you, the enemy definitely has been trying to do it to me, you feel me? Hold on. No cap, the enemy just definitely has been trying to do it to my ass, you feel me? But I just keep, keep being resilient, I keep showing them like, nigga, this shit is not easy. No one said it was gonna be easy to stop me and you, man, we chosen, bro. So even me, the enemy has been trying. Every time, every chance he get, he been trying. You feel me? But I just ate. My bad, it's mosquitoes and shit. So your enemies are mad as fuck because the things that they know you went through, they wouldn't have made it as far as you. You feel me? They would have quit or killed themselves a long time ago. You get what I'm saying? But see, me and you, it's not in our DNA to stop. Stop. It's not in our DNA to quit. It's in our DNA to continuously grow, move forward, and evolve. You feel me? So this is something they can't understand, and they can't understand how you have this strength after everything you've been through to keep moving forward like that. So your enemy spirit is shit because they know once you get to where you got to be, you are that guy. You are that bitch. You get what I'm saying? No one can tell me and you nothing after that. You feel me? I'm talking about nothing. And this is what they fear. Imagine going all out on the individual imagine going all out on the individual who overcame these obstacles simply because they were mentally strong and they were highly evolved spiritual beings and they were resilient you get what i'm saying imagine trying to stop someone and destroy someone right and this individual has overcame everything the enemy has threw at him or her and made it right they have no choice but to respect that after that. And that's what they fear because you cannot take this individual's credit after all the things we know he or she been through and he made it to the top like that. You can't even talk no more, you feel me? So they are mad that you have the strength to keep going like that, you feel me? They don't know where it's coming from. See, one thing in this life, right, as a man especially, like when you a divine masculine man, you refuse to stay low, you feel me? You refuse to let the enemy take you out like that. You get what I'm saying? So the strength is coming from the thought of what could happen if you lose. The strength is coming from all the people who doubted you, all the hate you got, all the anger, the resentment, right? From shit that people put you through. That's where the strength is coming from. Not to mention the strength is coming from your ancestors as well. Cause you're not alone on this journey. You got people you can't see who've been with you every step of the way. My ancestors have been with me as well. That's why I survived certain shit that the enemy thought he had me with, you feel me? So trust and believe cause it's people behind you as well. It's people behind me. So these people are mad and frustrated because you literally are beating the damn odds. Like I'm trying to tell you, when me and you get to that plateau in life, which is coming, that's why they're mad. They're mad because they don't know how you can deal with such mental torture. You get what I'm saying? Because it's spiritual warfare, it's psychological warfare. It's an attack on the mind, right? So me and you are highly resilient in the mind. We're highly evolved beings. So we adjust 
to situations a lot easier than most people. Like the shit that me and you been through, the average person would have gave up, called it quits, or maybe committed suicide, right? So there's something about my mind and your mind that's completely different from other individuals. Having the ability to stay sane, right? Because that's what this shit is. It's like these secret societies, right? The whole goal is to make you be deemed as crazy. That's how this shit is, bro. When you're an individual who knows the truth, you're ahead of everybody else. You know, like, everything. You know, you're like 1%. Like, I'm 1% of men. Like, I'm literally above and beyond the average individual, right? When you're an individual like me, they fear, they fear me and you, right? So the whole agenda is to make you commit suicide or throw you in a mental hospital, right? That's the whole agenda, bro. Because they know your potential is cosmic, something that no one has ever experienced. So what you can achieve in this life is unreal, unfathom, unfathomable. Only 1% of people really do certain things. And me and you are one of these people. So the whole goal is to do certain things to make you go insane, right? Mentally drive you nuts. Um, so you could probably kill yourself, right? And we know we ain't doing that because that's pussy as fuck. We, you know what I'm saying? Death before dishonor. We'll never take ourselves out. But certain spiritual warriors have. Like, it's it's really tough. Like, it's really a battle on the mind. You got to have a strong mind. But see, me and you, our minds are impeccable. You get what I'm saying? Like, the shit that I've been through, no doubt about it. My bad. You see the noise campaign? No doubt about it. Nobody can survive this shit I went through. And I'm going to just leave it at that. No one can stand and continuously keep going after such things, you feel me? So they are mad because you are just showing them that you are who you say you are. You are not a regular ass person. And during these times, motherfuckers know I'm very important, very important. I'm bigger than what you could ever imagine. Like this shit is deep, you feel me? That's because they know the angelic beings have returned. So these people, right? Your success is on the rise. And these people are so frustrated and mad because they don't know how you can do it. They don't know how me and you can do it. Like, they just don't get it. How is it impossible that you are not quitting or giving up? After everything, that's because, bro, we are resilient, bro. We are literally not of this world, bro. If we were like these people, trust and believe, these secret societies, local law enforcement, FBI, CIA, would not be involved with me and you. Trust and know that shit. If we were regular ass people, we wouldn't be going through it, going through anything in this life with these people, right? I told you, CIA, FBI, local law enforcement, be driving past me and shit, just monitoring, watching me, you know, because I'm still doing me, I ain't doing nothing. But they gotta watch certain individuals who know the truth now, because they don't know what you about to become and it's scaring them right they even be watching the videos you feel me now you know because this individual is thinking on a higher level than the masses this individual is disciplined focused i told you a man who is in control of his lust can conquer anything in this life achieve anything in his life and i'm one percent of those men only one percent of men can do what i'm doing so individuals who have the potential to be millionaires or billionaires they watch them because money in this life is power right very powerful so they know the potential that me and you have is pretty much something that you can never reach like the average person can never reach but they know that me and you have the capability of reaching those heights and yes i know i can do these things i don't think i know because i know how this life is right i know my potential as a spiritual warrior a spiritual being having a human experience my potential is limitless i am a cosmic being so these people know oh shit right because i'm influencing the masses this last 48 hours i acquired over 1900 views so it's probably famous people it's probably celebrities watching my shit right now that's how deep this shit gets man a lot of celebrities are watching my channel. On God, bro. 3.4 million people. I'm telling you. And I knew I was somebody important day one when I started to wake up. On my Instagram, I had like BET producers and shit watching my page and shit. Real shit. 
this shit is real. So your enemies are mad because you keep going, bro. Like me, they are just pissed. Like they are pissed. They don't know how the fuck this nigga could keep going and going and going. Keep pushing out so much video. That's because I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those powerful men, right? Powerful, influential men. Very powerful. Nigga, I'm literally in my area, nigga, I'm probably the most powerful man. I just don't got the finances, but because I control myself and I'm thinking on a higher level, in my area, my town, where I'm at, there's no nigga like me. And this clearing evidence, clearing evidence, right? No ego shit. I'm just being 100. So this shit is real. I literally am a divine being, bro. No cap. You know you somebody important when FBI, CIA, local law enforcement police have to watch you, bro. Right? Not because you're a criminal. Not because you do wicked. It's because what? You know the truth and you do right. I told you they fear individuals who do right, bro. Because it's only so much you can do to an individual who knows the truth and can see everything. It becomes a problem because his mind is thinking on a higher level. He can see shit that others can't see. He can create and do so much because he's disciplined and he's focused, bro. This is the true power of a man, bro. Right? They don't want men to become powerful like me. And trust me, only 1% of men can really do what I'm doing. So it becomes a threat amongst masses of people to the point where this individual has to be watched. We have to see how he's going to do things with his life. They have to watch. Now, they can't intervene and do nothing because we good. They know we know about jail. We know jail is a waste of time. We know jail is a low, lower form, lower version of slavery. Jail is just slavery. We know it's a waste of time, right? So it's not that that's not what they worried about. An individual who got his mind on the right track, an individual who is disciplined, full control of himself, an individual who is spiritual, has divine wisdom beyond his years. They have to watch individuals like me and you, man. So you know you chosen. Well, I know I'm chosen when FBI, CIA, local law enforcement gotta watch me, bro. And I'm not doing nothing bad. That's because why? I'm a divine being, bro. They know we cannot fall with this system like that, right? A man who conquers his lust can acquire and achieve anything in his life. So that means they can't even throw pussy my way to kill me off, right? So think about that shit, man. Lust is the final stage of purgatory, bro. If they can't throw no bitches at you to slow you down or fuck you up, man. There's nothing they can do to a guy like me, right? I'm talking about... You can't do shit, right? It's spiritual now. The only way something can happen to me is if I would do something wicked, like steal or some shit. But why would I do that when I, you see what I'm saying? I know the truth and I'm a good person and that's not what my ancestors want me to do. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do the right thing. So they fear individuals who can't fall with the system, who can see, who thinks on a higher level. Me, I'm 21 years old. I just turned 21 years old. I am smarter than 95% of people in my city, and that's on God. Maybe I'm just talking shit, maybe that's my ego, but I'm being a hundred. There is nobody with this level of wisdom at my age. There's a couple, but no, they aren't like me, bro. They are not trending like me. They are not being watched like me, and I'm not trying to be egotistical. I'm just telling you, the ancestors, our ancestors used to get watched, bro. For a numerous amount of reasons, bro. And not to mention, I am melanated, bro. So for a melanated person to know the truth about his people, the truth about where he comes from, the cosmos, all that shit, they have to watch me now. I'm not indoctrinated. My mind is free. I'm disciplined, bro. And I'm melanated, bro. During these times, melanated people are the most watched. Individuals like me and you because they know something is happening with us on a molecular level. So this shit is deeper than rap, man. So other than that, back to the video topic. Your enemies are mad because you are not giving up, bro. Because you don't know how to fucking give up, man. Like Naruto, believe it. We don't give up, man. It's impossible for us to give up. It's impossible for us to not get to the next level. It's impossible for us to not evolve, bro. We, as melanated people, descendants of the Anunnaki, Dude, we are some of the most powerful spiritual beings in the universe, bro, in the galaxy. So, it's impossible for us to not get seen. What does that mean? It's impossible for us to stay hidden, right? They try to hide individuals like me and you so the masses can't see us, but 
we so powerful to the point where we're gonna get seen anyway. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about a master. Celebrities gonna know who I am in a minute. Some already do. It's a couple big YouTubers who got 400K watching my shit. Why is that? Because I'm a divine being? It's impossible for me to not become successful. It was my birthright. It's in my DNA to be that. Nothing more, nothing less. I can't fall into the system. So this is why they have to do things to try to set you up and slow you down. They don't do this shit to everybody. You feel me? Many are called if you're chosen. This shit I'm going through, they, you don't, they don't do this shit to me, to everybody, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we are special people in this life. You get what I'm saying? I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds egotistical, but I'm being 100% true. I will never lie to y'all. I'm really somebody important. If you're watching this video, you're just like me. It's only 1% of us, bro. Right? Who have great purposes, great callings. Came in to do something phenomenal for life, for this earth, for humanity, bro. So they know I could be a millionaire, a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? They know that. They know the potential, right? At least they can predict my potential, right? They got technology that can see how big you really big you really are. Like I said, I made a video, bro. These motherfuckers already know how much women we can really get because the level of success we are going to reach in this life. Now, obviously, they're not trying to see us get that big because they know our influence is too damn powerful. You get what I'm saying? But these individuals already know how much women I will have at my disposal once I get my shit together. Now, women aren't not anything important or priorities, but I'm just trying to tell you. They know, right? They got technology that can see how powerful this man will be in this life because he's not like everybody else. His spirit is not like everybody else's spirit. You feel me? Make a pause right quick. My bad, quick pause. I was talking to somebody, but like I said, cuz, the government, all that shit, bro, they hear everything these women is saying, bro, right? And they have technology that can tell how successful I could potentially be. Now, the reason I will be so successful like that on some billionaire, millionaire type shit is because of who I am on a spiritual level, bro, right? They know my potential as a spiritual being having a human experience is limitless, like, they can't predict how big we could be, but they can kind of get a description on how big and successful we be. I'm talking about fucking Kanye type shit, bro. Right? A million subscribers type shit. Like, to, like big shit, bro. Like, big artist type shit. Global, international type shit. That's how big me and you could become, fam. International? Imagine people knowing who me and you are across the whole globe, internationally. Because that's what this shit is. That's why they try to kill individuals like me and you off before we can even become that big. Because an individual like me who knows the truth, stands for the truth, knows the truth, has a great influence on people. It will fuck their system up, right? Because an individual who sees cannot fall with the system like that. So they have to do certain things. And, and a man like me who has conquered his lust, you cannot do nothing to me. I'll destroy someone physically because I'm strong as fuck. Mentally, I'm up here. Discipline, focus, bro. Men like me are literally 1%. Righteous men, you cannot stop a righteous man like that. You can't throw no pussy at him because he don't care about it. He sees women for who they are. He has a heightened sense of awareness. He knows about women. He knows about all these things that 99.9% .9 of men don't know. And he's here to put that knowledge to other men. So, oh shit, he is a problem because we don't want everybody to know the truth. So this is why they target you, they watch you. It's so many uh, undercover police cars that's driving past me. As I'm making this video, I can't make this shit up. I'm reading these people's minds. Like, these people are trying to set me up, but I'm seeing everything they're doing. You get what I'm saying? It becomes a problem, bro. So listen, your enemies are mad at you because you are not giving up. But they don't understand that actually fuck that your enemies understand that you are somebody important right and they fear our success because our success is inevitable damn near bro right they know they bro the shit me and you been through they never expected it to be easy dog i hope you know that that's not what they expected when i tell you they did not expect that shit you feel me they know we know the truth this is why they know you ain't gonna go out your way to steal. They know you know jail is bullshit. They know it's a waste of time to stop you from doing what you came here to do. Like, we know these things. Me and you know this shit, bruh. 
So we see how this shit is. So we only have no choice but to rise, bro. When I tell you this discipline shit I'm trying to teach to y'all, that's keys. I know I'm gonna be successful because I see, right? So because I can see and I can think outside the box, man, I think on a higher level than everybody else, they're gonna fear me naturally because it's only so much you can do to a focused man, a disciplined man. That's how powerful I am as a man, bro. I just don't got the money yet, but that's what they really fear because that money also adds value and power to my name, bro. You feel me? So when I tell you these niggas knew or know how much women we could really get, it's like, nigga, it's like endless, bro. Because success, feel me? And I'm not trying to brag. I'm talking to you too. Little baby, you know how much women he can get? And none of that shit is important, but I'm just trying to tell you how big is little baby, that nigga global. Me and you could be that dad. You feel me? Me and you can be that and achieve that. They know that already, bro. Feel me? They know that because money, power, influence is what rules the world. So because me and you are influential as fuck, me and you are disciplined men, that makes us powerful already. We're not slaves to pussy, so pussy don't run our life anymore. They can't do certain shit to you no more, bro. That's how they take a lot of people out with pussy, but because you conquered that shit, there's nothing they can do. Any man who has conquered his lust has defeated this matrix. The universe is always going to be working in that individual's favor, right? So you become a threat. So your enemies are mad because you are not giving up. Because you don't know how. And you too goddamn powerful and resilient. And they can't walk a mile in me and your shoes. So your success is inevitable, bro. Inevitable, bro. These people know that already, so they just have to slow you down and attempt before you get too big. Because once you get too big, that's when they lose their power. You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you. So they try to fuck you up before you reach a certain level of success. You feel me? Because the more people who know you, the more people that support you, that's when they lose their power, right? This shit, it gets to the point where Motherfuckers will literally probably shoot someone about me just because of who I am, bro. You feel me? You think little baby's fans wouldn't kill nobody about? That's what this shit is with me and you, bro. Deep. Some of our fans will go nuts, shoot the police, do whatever, throw their whole life away about us, bro. That's what they fear. You feel me? Especially me who know the truth and I'm melanated. You have no idea, bro. It gets deep, bro. So they think about all that shit, man. What would happen if he had an old whole? group a gang of people behind him right and like what would happen a revolution they fear because it's coming anyways right so this shit deeper than rap man i love you guys so much y'all stay tuned for more content i love you guys